There were multiple animal attacks over the Labor Day weekend. An 11 year old girl was injured by a javelina while walking her dog on North Table Mountain Road. A different dog walker was attacked by a javelina from behind on La Choya Road and a hiker was swarmed by bees on Pontotoc Ridge Trail in Sabino Canyon. Since we've seen several animal attacks and a few rogue bears over the last couple of weeks, Nine on Your Side's Tina Giuliano has some advice on how to stay safe. Here at Tumamak Hill, it's not only a popular place for hikers, but it's a popular place for wildlife. I spoke with experts and hikers who say that they've seen everything from bears to rattlesnakes, even javelina and skunk on the trails. It may look like a serene desert scene, but Tucson deserts are teeming with wildlife. It's wild out there. You know, there's a lot of wilderness, not a lot of people. So animals, you know, they come around because there's not a lot of people. Phil Hawkes used to hike the Tortolitas. Now he hits the Tumamoc Hill Trail every day. I started uh, two weeks ago. I used to hike out, out there in the desert, but here's a little bit safer because they said they had mountain lion reports. One of the most common animals he sees is rattlesnakes on Tumamoc. They want to warm up on the blacktop, so they will come to the blacktop and they're used to people, so they won't rattle. So you got to come, if you come to Tumamoc, bring a flashlight. But if you see a rattlesnake, it's important to freeze. They strike towards movement, so if you freeze, and if you have the opportunity to back away, if they're, you know, a good enough distance away, um, then do that. If there's a javelina or bobcat on the trails or in your yard, don't approach it. Back away quickly without running and make noise. Once you want them gone, bang some pots and pans together, yell at them, wave your arms. Jeff Carver with Arizona Animal Experts has worked with these animals for the last 30 years, today even capturing a skunk. Neither one of us are stinky, that's a success. It's, it's just out of preservation that they, you know, we have that encounter between humans and wildlife. He says the best thing to do is to leave the wildlife alone. Be mindful of what could be around you. Don't don't reach under rocks and pick them up if you can't see what's underneath there. In Tucson, Tina Giuliano, Kagan 9 on your side. With lots of wildlife in the area, here's where you have to be extra careful. Javelinas and coyotes are known to hide under shady areas like porches and bushes, so be on the lookout. Golf courses can also become homes for wild animals who are looking for big grassy areas. And we've seen an uptick in bee swarms in the Santa Catalina Mountains. That includes a hiker who was airlifted out of Sabino Canyon yesterday because of bee stinks. It's important in Arizona to keep an eye out for wildlife, even in the city, as this video here shows. Check it out from Kristen Glasgow of a javelina taking a stroll down the sidewalk in the Garden District of Tucson. She saw the javelina outside of the Martha Cooper Library on Catalina Avenue off of Speedway. Javelina usually end up in the city from nearby deserts and washes.